Hi, welcome to the 3D pen then. So you got a 3D pen. Congratulations. It may look like one of these or not, but most of the advice that follows will be common to all of those. So let's get started. First, you will need some filament. Here are the two most common types, PLA and ABS. You will need a few other things and chances are you have these already in your house or something like this that will do the job. Here is a simple checklist of how most 3D pens work. But please read your manual first so you don't wreck your pen. Plug the thing into the real electrical socket, not your computer. Some pens won't work plugged into your laptop. If your 3D pen works for both PLA and ABS, select what you're using. ABS melts at higher temperatures than PLA, so keep them in their labeled bags so you don't lose track which is which. Reheat your pen. This is where the order in which you do things becomes important. Pens won't let you feed in filament until they are hot. I can see on my display when my pen reaches the working temperature, but if you don't have a display, most pens will have some light indicator to let you know that they are ready to load. Check your speed setting. If you have a speed button on your pen, make sure it's not set all the way to zero or your pen won't load and you may think it's broken. Now you're ready to load your filament. Thread it into the feeder opening and push the forward button. Here you definitely need to check your instructions. Some pens you will need to push it once, some you may need to double click, some you may need to hold the button. It takes a while to thread it all the way through the pen, so be patient. Finally, time to draw. Now you just use the forward button to draw and usually also to stop drawing. When you are done or to change colors, you will use the reverse button to back out the filament. Again, be patient, it takes a while. And when it comes back out, it will have this thin melted tail on it. Never put this tail back into your pen. It could damage it. I always snip it straight away so I don't accidentally feed it back up into my pen. Now, if you are actually changing color, feed the next color in and run the pen until it cleans itself of the previous color and the new color starts coming out clean. Now you're ready to start drawing. For success in your 3D pen work, you will need to pay attention to what I call the three S's for success. So let's look at them. Surface, strategy and stability. Surface. Time to say hello to your work surface. This is probably the most important S. If you have the wrong surface, it may mean you will not be able to do anything at all. And you may think the problem is you or the pen. Some surfaces will work, but not well enough. The lines will strip off the surface too easily. Again, it's not you or the pen or the lack of practice. It's the surface. It's the adhesion of the plastic to the surface, which can be too tentative or too strong for different surfaces and for different kind of filaments. This is a big subject and I'm not going to go further into it since I already have two videos on surfaces. 
which I'm going to put in the description. So please watch those if you want to know more. Strategy. Strategy really needs several separate videos. This is one of the more famous strategies circulating on the internet. And if you tried it, you may be rather discouraged by now and feeling like this is too hard. It may be an excellent strategy to sell 3D pens, but it's definitely not the only way to make a cube or even the best way. So whenever anything feels too hard or too awkward or too messy looking, look for a different way to accomplish the same thing. Pretty soon you will start developing your own strategies to do things and I also have some more strategy videos coming if you stay tuned. Stability is kind of an obvious S. Connecting two points in space is called bridging. And it is possible. It does take a bit of practice, but it's definitely not as hard as it looks here. The trick is the two points need to be stationary and these are not at all stable. When both points of the bridge are supported, then it is quite possible. But this is not where you should be starting at. I recommend starting in 2D until you get used to your particular pen features. I know you really want to make 3D projects since that's the point of having a 3D pen, right? Following are a few beginner's projects that will let you practice working with your 3D pen on a flat surface and also introduce a bit of the first 3D strategy, which is joining intersecting flat planes. Time to go to work!
more projects to practice on, you can also go to 3D Pen Den Etsy store for some beginner templates. The link is in the description. While it is quite possible to work straight on the paper printouts, if you would like for your printouts to last you for multiple uses, consider protecting them with thermal laminating. I recently learned this on YouTube. Thank you, Jules, for suggesting this. If you don't have an access to a laminator, alternatively, you can protect your printouts with overhead projector sheets. However, all paper and plastic products can differ from brand to brand, so test whatever you plan to use first to avoid any surprises. Tape your layers together so it all moves as one unit when you rotate the template as you work. like them looking like little wire sculptures, but if you want to practice changing colors, you can also color them in. So good luck with your first projects and stay tuned for more!